After that came Jerry Lynn. Well, Jerry Lynn, he's a great guy. Anyone that knows him knows he's a great guy and I consider him a friend. He called me last summer and he told me about what was going on with his back and asked me what Wrestler's Rescue was about. So I told him what Wrestler's Rescue was about, but that I was unsure if I'd be able to help him because of the smear campaign that we were just coming out of. I then had some appearances and such, and I would collect items from people and friends and coworkers for Jerry's campaign, started to do that. I called the Cauliflower Alley Club in his, in, uh, on his behalf, and the Cauliflower Alley Club sent him $1,000. And then towards Christmas time, they decided to send him another $1,000. So he got $2,000 from Cauliflower Alley Club. I unfortunately was not able to do a campaign for Jerry because there was just too much damage left over from the smear campaign. So what I did with those items that I collected was I kept them in our storeroom and I'm just going to use them for the next person we do a fundraiser for. There were some 8x10s, a doll, you know, nothing of great value, just things that would add up and collect some money. Then we come to Jimmy Snuka. Jimmy Snuka, we had a successful campaign. Everything went smoothly. Um, he's better now. His wife actually works for the foundation because she saw how hard that we work and how diligent we were. And she loves the cause. And um, it was just a really great time and we had a great successful campaign. Then comes Kamala, James Harris. Um, about a month and a half ago, we started a, a campaign for him and we started raising dollars because he had lost his legs from the knees down due to diabetes and he's on dialysis. We were actually going to do Marty Jannetty next, but we kind of pushed him to the side because we felt that Kamala was more time of the essence. Um, so we started raising dollars for Kamala. About on July 18th, he called me and we were talking and I just had the feeling that he needed some money the way we were talking and I told him I would send him out a check for $500 that I didn't do, finish doing the bookkeeping. I didn't know exact number of what had come in, but I know at least about $500 was there and that I would be able to send him off $500. And the next couple days, he said, great. That was on the 18th. On the 20th, well, actually on the 18th. Then I went to PayPal. I transferred over the $500 to our account. I'm only allowed to do $500 a month transfer anyway. Transferred over $500 into our account and wrote him out a check on the 20th. It took two days for PayPal to transfer the monies in. On the 21st, I mailed the letter. Sometime between the 21st and the 26th, he received the letter, opened it, took out the check, put it into a new envelope, sealed it, and mailed it back to me, certified mail. On the 30th, <clears throat> I received this letter, sorry we missed you, and that was on 7.30, the 30th of July, sender James Harris, that there was a certified letter for me at the post office and I could pick it up on 731. Here's the check I sent Kamala. It's made out to James Harris for $500. The post date on this is July 26, 2012 from Sardis, Mississippi. Any of these images you'll be able to find on wrestlersrescue.org. So the truth is, uh, so then on the, that was the 30, on the 26th he mailed it out to us. On the 30th, they tried to deliver it back to me, certified mail. On the 31st, James Harris decided to put a video 
out stating that he never received any money from us, that I was garbage, and a lot of other very ugly things. I don't understand why someone would be so ugly to someone that's trying to help them. Clearly I had sent you the money. Clearly you decided you didn't want that. I heard through the grapevine it was because it wasn't sent to you fast enough. I don't know if that's true. But that money is yours. It didn't come in for Wrestler's Rescue. It didn't come in for Dawn Damata. It came in for Jane Tarras. And I'd like to send you your money. I had asked you since then, through a friend of ours, a mutual friend, Shane, if you would take the money and you still declined it. I'm asking you again, please take the money. If you refuse the money, I'm going to then put it, put it out to the fans that had donate money that I will give you a full refund of any donations made to James Harris. All you have to do is email me at dawnmarie at wrestlersrescue.org and let me know that you want a refund of your money. If I don't hear from you, I will assume you want the money to be used for the next person or towards you running the, facility, the company because administrative costs are expensive. There are other things we did for James Harris. Again, I made a phone call out to my friend Carl Lauer at the Cauliflower Alley Club and expressed what was going on with Kamala and they immediately released $2,000 to him. I also found a group in his area for an education program because he's no longer to be able to be a truck driver. And this program, what they do is they teach him a new trade and then they have job placement afterwards. And it's right in his town, right in, Sard uh, right in uh, Sanatobia, I believe is where he lives. It's right in that same town. So he wouldn't even have to travel far. Um, this group also does free prosthetic legs and arms, free prosthetics, and I have informed him about this. I gave him the gentleman's name and phone number because at that point I could no longer speak on his behalf because it, they needed medical information, but they were waiting for his phone call. James, I hope you're willing to accept the money. There's no hard feelings. I don't know why you did what you did, but you're hurting a foundation that's here to help you and a lot of other people. There are a lot of other really good things that I've done for, the, for people in our industry. Uh, for instance, Candy Devine, dirty white boy's uh, wife or girlfriend of 20 some odd years, might as well be his wife. After he passed away, she had some legal issues with saving her house because um, they weren't technically legally married. And I had helped her find some attorneys and some help in saving her home. Sam Houston with Hurricane Katrina. He uh, lost everything. And his, him and his dad lives with them, which is a legend in our industry. Um, they lost everything. They had no food. They, they didn't have anything at all. So we do work with Aloha Foods, and Aloha Foods donated two big packages of food, steaks and chicken and all types of food sent to them. So they had food. Captain Lou Obano, um, I helped the family when he was passing. Uh, they knew day, a couple days prior to him passing that he only had a few days left. So we had spoke and what we did was we wrote the press releases out in advance. They gave me a list of people to call for when that time came so that they didn't have to make these phone calls. And they wanted me to communicate with Vince and feel the media. And that's exactly what I did. That early, bright and early that morning after he passed away, um, they called me. And then I went to work and called all the people on the list so that they didn't have to hear it from the internet. Contacted Vince and together WWE and, e and I worked together in releasing press releases and information as it received it. I'm not here trying to pat myself on the shoulder. I could sit here and tell you other things I've done for the foundation, but some of it is very private and is personal information that people don't need to know about. But 
I just don't understand why someone would try to hurt someone that's trying to help them. I'm here just trying to make the business better. I'm here because I love the business. I've been around for 17 years. I don't have a bad reputation. And all I want to do is try to make a business better that can be better for the workers. So I hope I answered all of your questions. And if you have any more questions that I may not have answered, you can email me at dawnmarie at wrestlersrescue.org with your questions. And I'll be more than happy to answer them. I'm not trying to hide from you. I'm not trying to hide any information. Everything is very open. And I hope to talk to you soon.